This is the Around the Clock Selectman's update for the meeting that happened on Wednesday, March 21st. We started with a dog hearing at 7.15. Uh, this was regarding an animal that had gotten loose and off leash a number of times in the Tri Street, Charles Street area. We had a very good discussion and update from our animal control officers as well as from the owners of the animal. The, after much discussion and debate, the resolution is that they are being required, as anyone who lives here in Ashland, to follow our bylaws about dogs being leashed when they are off your property. This dog also has to be on a leash and under control even on the property of the owners. Uh, they have also been told that should they come before us again, that there will be mandatory training. Um, there was good understanding by the owners and we hope that this resolves the issue for this particular dog and its neighbors. We then also had a discussion on medical marijuana. Uh, if you followed the Selectman's updates, we've been approached by a company to come in and put a medical marijuana facility on Pond Street. And after some debate from the Selectman, we decided it was important to get the update and input from the community uh, for what they would like to see for medical marijuana. The concern from a lot of the neighbors, and that's who came out mostly, was the neighbors of that area, is that by putting a medical marijuana facility in, it then allows medical marijuana and gets into the ability of being then passed on to, to youngsters, uh, but also the ability of this particular medical marijuana facility to potentially become a recreational marijuana or adult use marijuana facility. So what has been determined right now is um, no further discussion will be had with the company uh, as we look into and we bring the discussion of recreational marijuana and the opt-out of recreational marijuana to the community. There will be questions on that at the town meeting as well as on the town ballot in May. So make sure you pay attention and follow to that. We had a consent agenda. TJ's is having their annual marathon party where they get to be outside and have some fun on marathon day. So if you love the marathon, TJ's is certainly a great place to be there and uh, watch the marathon from. We approved the annual parade for the Ashland Youth Baseball and Softball that will be happening on Saturday, April 28th. Uh, and we accepted a number of resignations. A big thank you to Tom McNulty from the Zoning Board of Appeals and Jessica Paddleford, who was on the Nyanza Advisory Committee. We discussed some old new business. We reviewed the articles for town meeting for 2018. At this point, there are 36 articles on the warrant. We have scheduled three nights for town meeting. The first night will be Wednesday, May 2nd. We'll start at the beginning of the warrant and get as far as we can. Then on the second night, which will be May 8th, which is a Tuesday, will be devoted just to charter review. And there's about eight or nine articles related to the charter and some changes in the charter. And then should we need it, the third night would be Thursday, May 10th. Anything left over from the first night um, but anything charter is going to be on May 8th. So if you're interested in those charter reviews and those charter changes, make sure you show up. Ideally, you show up for all the items because there's a lot of important uh, items and articles that are on the town meeting warrant this year. We talked about the town manager evaluation process. Um, as there are two of us who are up for re-election, uh, we are looking to finish the town manager evaluation process before the May 15th election. So we're looking to wrap it up by our April 18th meeting. We discussed the development agreement potential for 128 Main Street. Uh, the developer is looking for some assistance and we're looking to offer some assistance to get some more affordable housing in Ashland and that would be potentially one of the locations. We then had the town manager's report. He talked about the grant that Ashland has just received from the lieutenant governor and the governor to work on some downtown initiatives to look at different zoning for our downtown. So thank you to uh, Jen Ball, Beth Reynolds, and Michael Herbert and all who worked on uh, getting us that and writing that grant. It was about $15,000 to help work on looking at our zoning. We also discussed our downtown forum, which is happening on March 29th. Uh, doors open at the community center at 6.30 and the presentations will start at 7. There was a senior resource roundtable at our community center that we talked about, and we were notified that the personnel policy manual has been created and updated. It currently applies to non-union personnel, and as we do contracts with our union personnel, it will, we'll be looking to apply that as well. 
It was a long meeting. The uh, dog hearing went for a while, as well as all the input from residents on the medical marijuana. Uh, but it was well worthwhile, the discussion. Thank you to all who came out for both of these issues. Um, and we hope you all come out and more for our upcoming town meeting. And that wrapped up the Board of Selectmen meeting for March 21st.